Hi, I'm Dan from Akatika, and today we're going to take a look at an interesting sidelight that can happen with a GT102. You guys know if you've got one or if you've read the review on Stereophile how quiet a GT102 is. But every once in a while I'll get an email from somebody who says, you know, the GT is really, really quiet. The noisiest thing is the transformer. And what we've traced this down to is that some people's transformers are plugged into a power circuit that has asymmetric power. And that asymmetric power makes the toroidal transformer buzz a little bit. We do have a way to take care of it. Now, for 99.4% of you guys, this just doesn't matter. Your power is good. The amplifier's not sitting right next to your head when you listen. Everything's quiet and everything is great. But if you do have power that is somewhat asymmetric, and that typically happens when there's another load on the power circuit that draws asymmetric power. It could be a large refrigeration unit, uh, your HVAC for your home. It happens sometimes. We hear about this more often for our European customers than we do for the US customers, but still it happens sometimes. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate the effect of asymmetric power, and then we're going to show you what we've done to take care of the asymmetric power problem. We're going to start with a GT102 standard wall power, standard cord. And we're going to see if we can get an idea of how much mechanical vibration we've got from the transformer. So we're just going to plug it in in the normal way. And we'll see what you can hear. We're all being very quiet. That was just the sound of the speaker muting relays kicking in. And forgive the handling noise, but what I'm going to do is bring the mic right up next to the unit. What we're going to do now is we're going to change the standard power cord for one that introduces a problem. And that problem is an imbalance so that the positive peaks and negative peaks are not the same anymore. And that's going to introduce some DC on top of the AC that's normally on your power circuit. So let's do that. This gizmo here, I built a one diode asymmetry into the power. Let's see what happens. Okay, and now we'll turn it on with a one diode asymmetry. And just like before, we'll take the microphone and bring it close to the amp. You'll notice that there's a lot more buzzing going on with the amplifier owing to the asymmetry. Now we're going to do the next experiment. In that next experiment, we're going to put a two diode asymmetry in, which introduces even more DC to the power line. So this gizmo here, I built onto the power line and it has essentially a two diode asymmetry so that positive and negative peaks are rather more different and there's even more DC that has been introduced. And we'll now plug that guy in, turn him on and see what we have for a hum in the mechanical kind. And we'll do the microphone test once again. And we see that there's even more hum. So the asymmetry causes the toroidal transformer to hum. Let's see if we can do something about that. So we've taken the original GT102, and now we have installed into it what I call the DC scraper. And what it does is it removes the DC component, that which makes the input power asymmetric. And doing that, it turns out, will give us a situation where we can dramatically drop the mechanical buzzing that the transformer does. Let's see if it worked. So here's our worst case. Here's our two diode asymmetry. And we'll plug it in and turn it on. And now we'll do our standard test. And we see that the result is really very quiet. 
Let's take a look inside the amplifier and see what we've added. So now we're focused in on the added board. And the added board is right here. And what it does is it blocks all the DC, or you could say scrapes all the DC off the input power. And it just goes in series with, don't know if you can quite see it, the black wire that goes between the power entrance connector in the back and the switch in the front. And as you've heard, it's really tremendously effective in terms of scraping out the DC. And the thing that's so maddening about the DC is the fact that it comes and goes when loads come and go. And if it were constant, you might filter it out. But when it changes, it's the kind of thing that drives you a little bit batty. And typically, remember once again, this only happens if you have bad power and a bad load. In addition, if the amplifier is sitting right next to your ears. Very few people have that set up, but in case you do, this particular kit, the DC scraper, might be a worthwhile addition. Now you do have to add two holes to the chassis, and I can show you that. These are the two screws that we've added, and we had to have a we had to drill a hole for these two screws. Pop it in, and that holds standoffs to keep the board in place. So in those cases where you do have problematic power, and for some reason you like keeping the amplifier right next to your head and your ears, you might hear a little bit of buzzing from the toroidal transformer. But you can add the DC scraper kit and take that buzzing and really make it completely inaudible. Thanks. We'll see you guys next time.